Well, only one place to start this week's episode, and that is at the Emirates, the league leaders, against the bottom place, Southampton, 3-3. What happened? Boy, it we shot ourselves in the foot. Yet again, another three matches in a row where we've shot ourselves in the, in the foot. But this time, it was different. It was, instead of taking the lead and surrendering the lead, we rather gave them the head start this time. Ramsdale gifting the boy Alcaraz yeah, the first got, goal. You got tired of getting on two goal leads. So you yeah, decided... this time we had to fight one back. <laughs> it's crazy though. I don't know why this is happening. This is just uh, parties playing just some horrendous football at the moment. Some stuff that we have not seen from him at all this season. And it's happening at the worst time. The way we're playing right now, I don't see how... We can even beat anyone at this point, much less City. And at this, where it stands now, we have to beat them at the Etihad in order to stand a chance. Yeah, before it was a, a win would be a bonus, but now it's a must win. But, I mean, I, I have to ask, at what point does this come down to Arteta? Now it's second year in a row where it looks like Arsenal are going to bottle it. The questions I'd have to ask about that is what could he have done? I mean, it's it's a it's a worrying pattern, right? You you saw last season, you faltered at the, at the almost at the finish line. This this time for that time for the Champions League, and this time, okay, we're not there yet. We're not at the end yet, but again, we see Arsenal crumbling towards the finish line. The thing is, I don't like this narrative of battling or crumbling. I prefer to look on it in the bigger picture to say, yo, we shouldn't even be here at the moment. So that, That's exactly what a fan of a team that's bottling it right now would say. It is not bottling. This is not crumbling. This is just, you know, I mean, you are. It's simple as. It is. No, it's the perspective. He's, no, it is. He's built a cushion. He's built a top four cushion. How about that? And he's, and he, think about it. He, he was comfortably in, in the fourth place last season, right? And in the last few weeks of the season, okay, I, I get it. There were injuries and stuff, but still, Arsenal crumbled, right? And Arsenal ended up coming in fifth. Now, it looks like the same might happen again. Because remember last season, Arsenal weren't expected to be in the top four, right? And similar to this season, they, ex- they were never expected to compete for the title, let alone be first for this long. I'm just I'm just pointing out a pattern that's that I'm seeing. Okay, I want to look on the the bigger picture in the sense of last season. I think the the prevention solution was was obvious. We didn't act in the winter transfer window. This year we did as much as we could. I just want to ask what could have been done differently? Like it's not like we noticed anything wrong, blatantly wrong that he did as far as decisions went. What could he have done? Like I said, I would have dropped Partey. He he should not be starting right now. He should not be anywhere near the lineup right now. No chance he should have started. And I can see why he started him because obviously he has his faith in him. He's he's done well, but it's backfired against him. He should have listened to me. He should not have started Partey. Yeah, look like we need you as an assistant manager. As, <laughs> as, <laughs> for <laughs> nah, for real though. That's all we have time for today. Guys, thanks for tuning in as always. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. Remember to subscribe, to leave comments, and share with your friends. Follow us on social media at FOTBPod. Don't forget to leave a review, rating, and most importantly, don't forget to turn on those notifications. Join us again next time as we discuss the highly anticipated upcoming Premier League action. Thanks again as always. See you then.